，武汉整个就像一座空城，然后没有太阳的时候就觉得阴沉沉的，看上去好悲怆啊。今年一月二十三号十点起，全市城市公交、地铁、轮渡、长途客运暂停运营。我们就很令人感到，这次不一般。生命太脆弱。哎呀，好累了，这是给我，这是给我。几十万的标本要采集，你活过来了，活过来了。全国各地累计已派出二百五十一支国家医疗队支援武汉抗击新冠肺炎疫情。我不想。那么我们每天可以达到两百吨熔喷废皂材料。太难了，再要拖下去，我老爹就没命了。At the end of December 2019, an unidentified pneumonia emerged in Wuhan. A large number of residents developed symptoms such as fevers and coughing. Jing Ying Tan Hospital is among the first batch of hospitals for treating confirmed COVID-19 cases, and also the hospital receiving the most of these patients. The first patients were transferred to Jing Ying Tan around December 29th. At that time, doctors here, who had a lot of experience dealing with various infectious diseases, such as viral pneumonia and flu, felt something was different. CT and fever exam. 它是毛玻璃一样的那种改变，是病毒性肺炎的典型症状。因为我们有 SARS 的经验和那个 MERS 的救治经验的话，我们就很令人感到这次不一般。就是平时没有发生疫情的时候，每年也有很多病毒性肺炎。On December 30th, Jing Yin Tan Hospital collected lower respiratory tract samples from seven patients. They were then sent to the Wuhan Institute of Virology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences for testing. The next day, December 31st, the WHO China Country Office was informed of the cases. On January 6th, the Wuhan Institute of Virology isolated a novel coronavirus from the lower respiratory tract samples taken at Jinyantan Hospital. The pneumonia of unknown origin was clarified. Ah, because it is now existing, there are people who have infected, and also the medical staff have infected. Doing this is very difficult. 这个国家也是非常慎重的，现在全国几二十几个省都有输入性的病人，所以必须采取严格的措施。January 24th is Chinese New Year's Eve, the most important holiday of the year for Chinese people. On that day, 128 members of the Guangdong Province Medical Support Team rushed to Wuhan. This is like we're going to go to a big fight. It's not us. But we're going to go to the fight. All the people in the country are going to stand together. After that, 52 medical teams from 29 provinces and autonomous regions arrived to support Wuhan. On Chinese New Year's Eve, the People's Liberation Army also sent three medical teams, totaling 450 people by military aircraft from Shanghai, Chongqing, and Xi'an to assist Wuhan. At the same time, with the influx of more and more patients, Wuhan's local hospitals began to vacate their general wards to admit greater numbers of COVID-19 patients. With the number of infections growing, the entire medical system in Wuhan faced the pressure of work overload. Zhu Hai Xiao was among the first batch of nurses from Guangdong Medical Team to assist Hong Kong Hospital in Wuhan. 
Zhu said although the Guangdong medical team brought 267 medical workers to assist Hankou Hospital, there was still a shortage of staff. She was working in several wards. <laughs> On January 23rd, the first day of the city's lockdown, construction of Huo Shenshan Hospital started. Two days later, the construction of Leishenshan Hospital began. More than 30,000 workers rushed to Wuhan from all over China to work around the clock to build these two temporary hospitals. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology transferred 14,000 items of protective clothing and 110,000 pairs of medical gloves to Wuhan. On February 2nd, Wuhan started to admit diagnosed and suspected COVID-19 patients, as well as patients with fevers and people who had been in close contact with confirmed cases. On the evening of February 3rd, Wuhan decided to expropriate the city's exhibition venues and transform them into temporary hospitals to treat patients with mild symptoms. The number of beds gradually overtook the number of patients. Chen's father has not been admitted to the hospital since he was diagnosed with COVID-19. The first three temporary hospitals were converted at the Wuhan International Convention and Exhibition Center, Hongshan Stadium, and a cultural complex known as the Wuhan Living Room, and provided 4,400 beds in total. From February 6th, Wuhan started conducting a grid-by-grid -grid search to check those who had close contact with confirmed patients, patients with a fever, people with clinical symptoms, and confirmed patients who quarantined at home. In 7,148 communities, holding nearly 10 million people, community workers knocked on every door to measure residents' temperatures. At the same time, Wuhan's lockdown became stricter. On February 11th, all compounds were closed and only one family member was allowed to go out once every three days. Wong Yaling is a community director in Wuchang District. She was responsible for helping residents buy daily necessities during community closures. Hey, 
，嗯，来保护自己。这样子约，如果待一天的话，它就就会自己崩掉，然后耳朵已经后面像耳朵割掉了一样。然后我两耳朵这还做了手术的，前不久特别疼，戴一天。其实作为在基层工作的书记，我们不在乎什么表扬，我们只希望，呃，我们的这个城市快点好起来。However, the strength of the community was far from enough to meet the huge needs of the city's 11 million people. Some citizens stepped up to be volunteers. And help transport medical staff to work and deliver daily necessities to residents. On February 12th, there were 13,436 newly confirmed cases in Wuhan, with the number reaching the peak. This is because the National Health Commission updated the fifth edition of the novel coronavirus pneumonia diagnosis and treatment plan on February 5th, which added clinical diagnosis to the diagnostic criteria. Nucleic acid testing is no longer the only diagnostic criterion. Joe is one of the drivers transporting patients since the coronavirus outbreak began. Today he was going to take a suspected patient, Mr. Peng, to the hospital for testing. However, it didn't go well. Accompanied by Zhou, Peng had another CT scan. With new confirmed cases decreasing, the main COVID-19 battlefield has shifted to the ICUs. Dr. Zhou Ning is a cardiovascular physician working at Tongzi Hospital, affiliated to Huazhong University of Science and Technology. He is going to perform an ECMO operation on a critically ill patient in the ICU. Surgery begins. <laughs> By February 28th, the number of severe cases in Wuhan had reached 6,775 accounting for 22% of the confirmed cases. Doctors in ICUs raced against death day and night in an effort to reduce the mortality rate. Life
At least two makeshift medical facilities in Wuhan have cleared their patients. 定点医院、方舱医院、隔离点、三类地点、床位已经全部实现床等人。桥口五体方舱医院将会进行修舱处理。今天开始，陆续有支援湖北的医疗队将分批撤离。Subway lines are coming back between today and Saturday.到学校了,爸妈 多少医生死了？他是拿命来拼来的，所以武汉人民都得感激他吧，整个武汉人民感激他吧。